James chapter 2, from verse 1 to 9. Show no favoritism. Love your neighbor as yourself. Friends, we are called to love others as God has loved us. Impartially he does. Every human being who ever existed has needed Jesus' atoning sacrifice on the cross. And Jesus made that sacrifice for everyone. Romans chapter 3, 23 to 24. He himself said that God loved us all so deeply that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 now, God calls us to have the same kind of love for one another. Jesus died on the cross for everyone. And he longs to pour out the Holy Spirit into everyone's heart. He has made us all co-heirs with him, sons and daughters of his father, equal members of his church all with the same dignity. When we show favoritism or partiality towards our fellow humans, we are really speaking against the cross of Christ because partiality implies an unequal need for the cross, that some are more deserving of God's love than others. Friends, the great apostle Peter fell into this kind of thinking when Jesus told the disciples that he must suffer and die. Feeling perhaps that Jesus was too good to die, Peter rebuked him in Mark chapter 8 verse 32. It is as if he were saying, No, Jesus, you do not deserve to die. Let someone else take your place. As Jesus' reply demonstrates, Peter was relying only on human thinking. Jesus was fully human, just like us, in all things but sin. And it was only through his death that he could begin to heal the divisions existing among people. Friends, the universality of Jesus' death is implicit in the command Love your neighbor as yourself. When we show God's impartial love to those around us, we declare the truth about who God is. He is love. There is no contempt in God, no preference, no division. By the Spirit, He gave us we can love impartially. Jesus did so by dying for all of us, and through his death, it is possibly for us too. Let us pray. Jesus, you want us to be one with our fellow believers as you and the Father are one. Come, Lord and break down all divisions that confront us. Pour out your love through the Holy Spirit that we would love as you have loved us. Amen. Thank you so much, my dear friend, for listening. Please do remember to subscribe. God bless you.